Twitch channel points and channel point rewards are the best way for you to reward your viewers for giving you the most valuable thing that they have their time. And making sure that you have good and interactive rewards will encourage them to spend even more time with you, either saving up for that one big reward or constantly using the smaller ones. So in that spirit, today I'm going to be giving you a couple of channel point ideas. From simple to kind of complex, hopefully it will encourage you to update yours. A quick message from our sponsor and then we can begin. And today's sponsor is Owned Pro. Owned is already known for having the biggest overlay and alerts pack on the internet. But using your free Owned Pro account, you can install them with one click. You also get access to to a Twitch chatbot, a customizable dashboard, a huge library of alerts, you have gold bars, you have countdown feature, there's a link spree, a donation page, you can check your stats, I already mentioned a gazillion overlays, royalty free music, and pretty cool Twitch extensions. This one gives you animated panels. This one will show up alerts even if you're streaming from console. And this one lets you trigger alerts that will show up on your whole screen. So go check it out over at own.gg slash level pro. That is O-W-N-3-D.gg slash level pro. You can access your channel points by going to your dashboard on desktop. You need to be at least Twitch affiliate or Twitch partner in order to even have access to channel points. You should know that. <laughs> And then you can scroll down on the left here until you see viewer rewards. I think I'm blocking it. There you go. So the first thing in the list is going to be channel points. And then there's emotes, drops, rewards, blah, blah, blah. Then from there, you're going to see enable channel points. Okay. Custom points display and then manage rewards and challenges. All right. Under custom rewards, you're going to see your own created channel point rewards. So something very important is that uh, Twitch will give you a couple of default rewards and you kind of want to use them. They are pretty good because there's a couple of things in there that are kind of hard coded in Twitch and that you're not going to have if you were using any other services like highlight my message, modifying emotes and things like that. You want to activate that, especially since it doesn't take anything from you. It doesn't ask you to do anything. So those are easy. When it comes to the amount of points, I know I'm going to get comments about like how many points I have for mine. I get a lot of viewers that come from YouTube. So sometimes they just come in because they want something. They want me to troubleshoot their OBS or something like that. So I have to keep it kind of high so that so the quote unquote real viewers can use it. But anyways, that's not the point. So let's talk about the easiest and kind of the most popular, just triggering sound alerts. There's multiple ways of doing it. There are multiple services that allow you to do it. And one of them is called blurp.com. Basically, you just log in with your Twitch channel and then you're going to have a dashboard where you can manage which sounds you want to allow. If you want to let people search for their own sounds, if you want to add a whole soundboard for people to use, you won't even have to manage your channel points because it can create it. As you can see, it, everything that has kind of like the blurb color here that was created it automatically through blurb so that's one of the easiest ways to do it um the white ones that i have here those are triggered through polypop polypop is its own broadcasting software but i use it in conjunction with uh, obs studio and it's a software that runs on a game engine but one of the things that makes it so great for streaming on twitch is how it uses twitch's api to turn myself off again boom so that broadcasting software immediately has access to your alerts, new follower, new chat message, subscriptions, new sub, resub, gift sub, re gift sub, bits, all of that stuff, raids, cheers, everything is here and you can just drag and drop it on whatever you want it to do if this thing happens. So it's super duper simple. And as you can see on the right here on my layout, I have a bunch of sound effects. Let me actually find it. So if I go to channel points, same thing here, you can create a channel point reward straight from Polypop. You don't even have to go to your Twitch dashboard. We have the bra here and you can see I have it so that if someone redeems it, it's going to play the bra sound and it's going to emit a burst. Let me show you what that looks like. And it emitted this 3D text that's actually going to bounce around my screen. Another one through Polypop that my viewers love to interact with is the roll the dice. And this one is very simple. It will roll a pair of dice. And what happens if you roll? Well, I said it so that if you roll a 12, there's going to be like an alert. There's going to be a bunch of coins or a bunch of stars. I don't even remember. <laughs> So this is a preset in Polypop that you can add. And as you can see, I can control the outcome right here. So if someone rolls a 12, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> so that's not only great because of the potential outcome, but it also keeps people using their points 
all the time. A classic one is the hydrate slash posture check. Someone can redeem it to get the streamer to drink a little bit or to just check their posture. Since Polypop allows me to also add additional triggers to Twitch's default channel point rewards, I have the sound of water playing and also some H2O particles. <laughs> so even if I'm in a game, I'll hear it. And also for people not paying attention to chat, they can understand what has been redeemed. So yeah, in Polypop, I have a lot of things, but when it comes to channel point rewards, it's usually a combination of sounds and images playing at the same time. Emotional damage. Classic. <laughs> if you don't know about Polypop, watch my videos on it. Okay, one more with Polypop. I have something called an IRL voice ban for 15,000 points. And basically it'll set a timer because Polypop gives you access to so many things. You can trigger a timer basically and have something on screen for that timer. So basically a sound will play that indicates that someone triggered it. And then I have that timer going on screen and it's two minutes basically. And I'm supposed to not speak during two minutes. And people can trigger that with 15,000 points. So yes, I love Polybop for that. There's so many things that you can do with it. Something else I added was one gifted sub. So for 35,000 points, you can pick who gets a gifted sub to my channel. It can be the person who redeemed it, or they can choose someone else for me to gift the sub to. So yes, it's gonna cost me money because I'm paying for the sub, but 35,000 points where I give Twitch about five bucks and then Twitch gives me back 250 and then I'm taxed on it. <laughs> All right, so the next channel point type is those that will trigger things in OBS Studio. So my viewers can have a direct impact into the stream visually. So right here, I have one called medium zoom and then I'll have one called zoom. I use streamer bot in order to trigger things like that, but I heard that mix it up and also Adam pretty much do the same thing. So for the one called zoom, basically I have a duplicate of my camera source called main cam two. And all it does is just trigger it, wait three seconds and then turn it off. It is also flipped. So it looks like a second camera sometimes, but yeah. That's all it does. What the medium zoom does is activate a filter and that filter is the move transition filter. And it activates it from the scene because I have my camera on a different scene. So right click filters and I'm gonna have medium zoom. And what that does when I turn it on is that. That's it. It is gonna wait a couple seconds and it is gonna bring it back to normal. So it's a slide zoom. As you can see in Streamerbot, OBS scene filter state Main cam, mid zoom, visible, delay for five seconds, and then the one called normal, set that to visible. I do realize now that I've been using the move transition plugin for longer that I could have set it to go back to its normal state from one, but hey, it's already there, it's already set, I'm not touching it. <laughs> One thing to keep in mind is that if you master this part of showing a source and then hiding a source triggered by channel points, you can already use that to set sound alerts. You would need to create a new scene, put all of your sound alerts, add them as media source right there. And then you would add that scene to every scene where you want people to be able to trigger them. Okay, now with the same idea in mind, being able to hide source and display sources with delays, all that triggered by channel points, you could have maybe a scene with a bunch of green screen videos like I have here called green screen videos. And all of those are green screen videos. And since they're all green screen videos in one scene, I don't even need to add a chroma key to each of them. I can just right click on the scene, click filters and then add a chroma key. But this is not what I did there. <laughs> There, I actually had to go ahead and manually color correct them and add a chroma key for each individual ones because, well, I was adding them one by one through time, right? So in StreamerBot, I'm also gonna have a folder called green screen. Let me collapse that. Green screen with all of my green screen ones. And all it's gonna be is, hey, turn it on. Wait six seconds, turn it off. And then I add this scene to every scene where I want this to take effect. I have this one called, wow. Wow. Minecraft death. Let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it's gonna look like while I'm actually streaming. I have the GTA one, classic. Again, it's gonna look like this, a classic. Are you sure about this? Yes, I am. <laughs> so basically a super simple way of triggering memes by having one scene with all of your green screen footage in there and then just using StreamerBot to trigger them one by one. All right, let's slowly get more complex. Now that we know how to turn things on and off through StreamerBot, we can make ourselves disappear. 
So the idea here is pretty simple. We need a picture of our background or a picture of the room without us in it basically. And then we're just gonna time it right in order to display that image. So it's gonna look like we're disappearing. Of course, we're gonna do more than that. We're actually gonna use the freeze plugin in order to freeze our image. And then that empty background image, <laughs> or it can be you posing in the background. You can add a transition to it. Right now I have it on fade, and it's gonna take one second to fade in. So basically it's gonna fade in or it's gonna look like you're fading out. I have also added some audio cues so that you can tell that it's coming. And it basically looks like this. <laughs> of course, right now I don't have all my lights on so it doesn't perfectly match, but it's pretty fun. If you want a step-by-step -step tutorial, I already made one, so go check it on my channel. All right, another one we're gonna see here is the mirror effect. What could that possibly be? I also don't have it activated here. Oh, this one, pretty much the same principle, except we're gonna add some masks to the new image that we're gonna create. And then we're gonna move those masks using the move transition tool. I don't have it on my main thing right now, so I'll probably show you some footage but I have a full tutorial on that. Breaks. Of course. Another one I have in the same spirit is the album cover. So this one is supposed to, this one is supposed to kind of tell you what sound that it's coming and then you pose and then it turns you into an album cover. And it looks a little bit like this. No. <laughs> So you have to get used to it and you have to not mess up the timing, of course. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit better. So this one is a little slightly more complex because it has to take a screenshot first and then display that screenshot while you're live. Again, full tutorial for that on my YouTube. Go check out my channel. Subscribe, turn on notifications because you're missing out. You're clearly missing out if you haven't seen those tutorials yet. With the same idea of taking screenshots, I have one called Cyberpunk. I don't know if you saw the meme of I don't know, uh, Keanu Reeves saying things out of context and it sounds like something else. But basically, if I say something that chat doesn't understand, they have the ability to trigger this and create a meme. And it's just this. Three, two, one. And then... There you go. It will freeze on my face, basically deep fry the image and then written whatever. You can also set it so that the person redeeming the channel point can also write what they want, but I don't trust my chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we have Jojo Pose, which I should add the freeze frame to it, but I haven't yet. One, two, three, four. Four. Oh, Jojo. I messed up. Pose. I messed up. Pose. 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 <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the idea. And then quickly, the last one I want to show you is the anime split screen. Again, full tutorials step by step to those things on my channel. So anime split screen is uh, this. And clearly something something's wrong. <laughs> okay, this one seems to be broken. So that's cool that I actually caught it. Uh, I will put some footage. Again, there's a full video tutorial on that. Um, I need to fix it for my stream. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully that will inspire you. I wanted to show you that there are like physical things that you can do. Hey, you redeem this and I'll, you know, gift a sub. I'll do a push up. I'll put a hat on my head or something. And then there's the sounds one that you can do with multiple types of services or software. And then there's more advanced where people really get to interact with the stream and things happen with your camera most of the time. But all of that is applicable to any source. So like if you want them to mess up with your gameplay, also you can do that too. But that's pretty much it. If you want to see them live, follow me on Twitch. Check out the pin comment on this video because I'm raising money for a project and I would love for you to participate. That being said, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level.